In this video we'll be taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra and we'll see if I'll be able to upgrade the cooling and in return make it run smoother and faster. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this make sure you subscribe and follow me on Twitter so you'll be notified once I upload a new video. If you need any tools there are links in the description. I'll be doing a few things with this S22 Ultra. First I'll be changing the thermal paste. Then I'll be adding a copper heat plate or a block on top of the processor. And finally, I'll be adding a second vapor chamber to see if there will be any improvement. But before I get to that, I want to go over a few things. I often get people who tell me their phone is running sluggish and slow, and just isn't running as fast and smooth as it used to be. They ask me what's the problem and what they can do with it. Now aside from software related issues, this can sometimes be caused by hardware issues. Primarily heat related. Most smartphones have some sort of heat transfer component on the processor, whether it be thermal paste or a thermal pad, which helps transfer the heat away from the processor or chips, to either the frame of the phone or a vapor chamber. Over time, these can wear out and the thermal paste can dry up, resulting in heat not being properly transferred away from the crucial components. Notice the word heat that keeps coming up. Well, heat can be a problem. When the processor or components start running hotter and the heat isn't properly being exhausted, they'll begin to run slower and sluggish. So if you're having an issue like this and you ruled out any software issues, there's a pretty good chance your phone will run smoother and faster if you replace a thermal paste or a thermal pad making sure the phone is being properly cooled. One more thing, most people have a misconception when it comes to the heat on their phone. When they feel that their phone is emitting heat, or it's heating up in certain places, they assume it's automatically overheating and that the phone has poor cooling, or the cooling is not doing its job. This in most cases is totally false. Smartphones are generally designed to exhaust heat away from the components inside, through the frame of the phone, the screen, and the back of the phone via vapor chambers, graphene films, or other methods. So in most cases it's normal for you to feel your phone warming up or emitting heat while it's in use. Just as long as the phone is not freezing up or running slow. Alright with that being said, let's get to it. I'll first run the 3DMark Benchmark Wildlife Stress Test and see how it does before any changes are made. In the end I'll run the stress test again to see if there are any improvements. Before running the test, I checked the surface temperature of the phone and it was 30.5 degrees Celsius. After the test was complete, the phone surface temperature was 42.1 degrees Celsius. On the test results, best loop score was 2528 and the lowest was 1388. The stability was 54.9%. Now it's time to upgrade the cooling. First we'll need to clean off the old thermal paste or compound. I'll be applying Thermal Grizzly Hydronaut Thermal Paste. You want to make sure the copper plate isn't too thick, so it sits just slightly over the shield. I also cut out some graphite film to apply around the shield, but I'm going to leave the area over the processor open since I'm going to apply some more thermal paste on the copper plate so it makes a direct contact with the frame of the phone. I evenly spread the thermal paste over the copper plate. I also added some to the top where the ROM or storage chip is. Now I'm going to put it back together and test it out. Let's run the stress test and see how it does now. Before running the test, the temperature is at 30.5 degrees Celsius. So 
So after the test, the phone is almost two degrees cooler than what it was before making the changes to the cooling. So the best loop score is better now. It climbed from 2528 to 2595. Lowest loop score dropped a bit from 1388 to 1373. And the stability also dropped to 52.9% from 54.9%. Now let's add a second vapor chamber and see how it does. I'm gonna apply a little bit of thermal paste on these shields, as well as some graphite film, and then I'll put the vapor chamber over that. The temperature is at 29.1 degrees Celsius before we start the test. The temperature after the test is 39.8 degrees Celsius. The best loop score is 2622 which increased. The lowest loop score is 1566 which also increased. And the stability is at 59.7% which also increased. So adding that second vapor chamber to the other side of the motherboard definitely helped the phone. It doesn't provide crazy improvements but it does definitely help. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.